Hey, good morning. I want to spend a couple of minutes with you on this Independence Day. I love America, and I'm so grateful that years ago, my parents made the courageous move from the Netherlands to America, and I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to become a citizen just before I turned 18 and my parents became citizens. Man, I love America. And as I was thinking this morning about uh, freedom and uh, what God has given us and this great country, which is a blessing not only to us, but I do believe also to the world, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot that we put our hope in, uh, whether it's people or stuff, and even a country. I want to tell you that uh, our hope is not in America. And uh, with all that's going on in our nation and in our world today, it seems like a pretty obvious statement. But the Lord led me today to uh, Psalm 42. And uh, Psalm 42 starts with, As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you. The deer longed for satisfaction for, for what it needed. And you know what? I think there's a lot of times that we long for security and confidence in the future. And uh, we put our longing in the wrong places. And a lot of times we put our longing not necessarily in bad places, in good things, like a country, like patriotism. But I'm telling you, it's a, it's a decoy, or it's a, I should say, a distraction from where our hope should be, which is in God, period. Not just the red, white, and blue, but in God. It's not the same thing, putting our hope in America and putting our hope in God. I thirst for God, verse 2 continues, the living God. When, when can I go and stand before him? Day and night I have only tears for food. Listen to the despair here in the psalmist. While my enemies continually taunt me, saying, where is this God of yours? My heart's breaking. I remember how it used to be. Man, I think of our country. I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Why am I so discouraged? Why am I, my heart so sad? Why am I so bummed? I will put my hope in God. Not in America, in God. America is a gift from God, but America is not God. And I would encourage us to take a look in our heart and find out if we have made America and patriotism and politics and all of that bigger deal than it should be. Why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I've had to ask myself that. Why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? Let me be clear to you, this is my life. I've put my hope in a lot of good things instead of the best thing. America is good, not best. People are good, not best. Stuff is good not best. God invites us to the truth, and that is to put our hope in Him. I will put my hope in God. Verse 5 has that pivot. I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my God and my Savior. Now I'm deeply discouraged, but I'll remember you, even from Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, and from Mount Mazar, I hear the tumult of raging seas. Your waves and surging tides sweep over me, but each day the Lord pours His unfailing love upon me. And through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. Oh, Lord, my rock, I cry. Why have you forgotten me? You must wander around. Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Their taunts break my bones. They scoff, where is this God of yours? Man, that's what everybody's asking. That's what I'm asking sometimes. Where's this God of mine? Verse 11, in conclusion. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again my Savior, and my God. Again, I'm so grateful for this nation, but I'm grateful that God has given us this nation. And even as this nation is going the way that nations go, where people go, we have good intentions, the best of intentions. But without the Lord, without our hope in Him, without our trust in Him, especially when things are going sideways, God is inviting me, you, us, back to Him. His grace has been shed in us. May God bless America. But the way that God's going to bless America is when Americans choose to bless and trust in Him. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this great country. And Lord, I thank you even for our national anthem that in, this, in the morning after war, after battles, after bombs and bursting in air, Lord Jesus, that flag was still there. But Lord, even more faithful than the flag is you, are you, I should say, and your cross and your love and your faithfulness. Lord, I pray that you'd help us to put our full hope in you whatever discouragement whatever fear we might have in the name of Jesus and Lord I pray for anyone watching this right now that has fear or discouragement Lord to great levels or to small levels Jesus I pray that you allow your Holy Spirit to invade our reality and bring hope where there's hopelessness our hope is in you Jesus and in you alone we declare that in Jesus name
God bless you. Have an incredible day.